All right, gang, this is a bike I picked up mid-summer of 2014. I've been looking for the bike I had when I was a kid and I have not yet found it. I wish I had it back. And that would be the first bike I had. I had several other bikes and we built plenty, but I wanted one I got for Christmas. This bike here, I picked up at a flea market. This guy pulls up with a trailer full of bikes. He had 50s and 60 coaster bikes. He had some huffy bikes with the gear shifters on them. I forgot what they're called. Then he had this one. And I remember this bike because there's a, we had some at the lake house in South Georgia back in the late 70s that resemble this. They were white, similar seats, no fenders, no number plates. It was just a bike with frame with two tires and a chain. This bike in the 1979 series which book has the same number placard that you see on the front. The chain guard has the same number, number one on it. And that was it. And I think it sold then for $69.99. I paid $20 for it. The guy, uh, when he unloaded all his bicycles, everybody's looking at all these 50 style bikes with the gas tank frames and all that stuff. I'm not a bike person. I like them, I got a few, but I don't know what, what to call them, but they had those tanks that on the, on the 50 style bikes that where they bolted around the frame. Looked good, but I, I just ain't into that. I pumped up the tires. I think the tires may be original. They could be. They both match. They're worn pretty evenly, but I'm not sure. I had to put the front and rear reflector on it, so I was trying to get a better view of the picture of the Sears catalog online, but I wasn't able to tell exactly what kind of reflector it was. So I went to a bike store here two counties over and got these two vintage reflectors. And they're doing the job, so the bike is complete. I need to pull the pad off that yellow pad it needs to be removed it I guess it was put on there because somebody's son kept hurting themselves while riding it the only other flaws on this bike is the rear fender has a crack in it I'll show you the crack right here there's a better view it had stickers on it but in the Sears catalog it didn't have any stickers so I'm thinking that somebody put stickers on it and then the seat is damaged here and on the other side I hope that turns out <laughs> as I said this pad does not belong and I'm gonna try to get you a shot of the Sears there it is I think these bikes are referred to down as muscle bikes uh, so now that I'm, I've learned some new terminology about the bikes I'm gonna continue to search for my bike see if I can get it located I've got one picture of my bike and that's it. And it's from Christmas morning and it's a side shot from the back. That's the uh, 1979 Sears catalog, wish book catalog. Bicycle for $69.99. Paid $20 for it. I let my son ride it one time and he liked it. I also found out that apparently there's a lot of people that were growing up in the 70s and even 60s and possibly the early 80s they look for these bikes to restore and or ride as is and they got clubs and they just go ride these old bikes so you, you'll see six foot tall guys riding these i guess it's a 20 inch bike i didn't measure it but uh i've been offered some money for it I'm, I'm not getting rid of it it's got a home here and it'll stay here if you got any information about this bike drop a note i'd really appreciate it Thanks for viewing this video.